lesson three um, for my Evernote series. Um, so now we've discussed some of the basic Evernote functions in our first video, and we kind of and we also went over the um, different subscriptions at Evernote. Um, and right now you're probably using the free version, which is great, and I think that's the best place to start. Um, but now let's dive into some more different um, function that makes Evernote very valuable and very simple to use. The, the three things we're going to talk about today are shortcuts, reminders, and note linking, all of which are very simple, easy first steps as a new Evernote user. So the first thing we're going to do is shortcuts. Um, shortcuts are found on the left side of your screen here, um, and it's very easy to use. Um, these are um, exactly what they sound like. They're frequent notes, um, frequent tabs, tags, frequent notebooks or saved searches that are very easily accessible no matter what you're really doing in Evernote. Um, again, it's on the left-hand side here, and there's no limit to the number of shortcuts that you can have. Um, I started with a few, and it grew to be a lot. This is my testing account, just to kind of show you um, what it looks like to get started. And we'll m move over to my, my main account here in a little bit. So there are two ways to create a shortcut. The first one, and you can just right mouse click on a note, a note, a notebook, or anything and you can click on Add Shortcuts. So sticking with our example from our first example, we made this notebook called Cars, or for car. We can right mouse click and click on Add Notebook to Shortcuts. And here you'll see it goes to the top. The second way, and the much easier way, which I like to do it, is to simply, let me go ahead and remove from Shortcuts here. Right mouse click and click Remove from Shortcuts. Click on my notebook and I'll simply drag this over to where I want this shortcut to look like. Um, I always keep my inbox on top, um, kind of default notebook where all your notes go into, um, and you can move around where what kind of shortcuts you want to look at in the order that you want to do. Easy enough, so um, very simple to do. So the next thing I want to review are reminders. Now this is one of my favorite features which makes Evernote extremely powerful. Um, the first few years of using Evernote, they actually didn't have any such feature in here, and I think it was just by popular request that they built this in. Um, I used a third-party application to begin with, but it wasn't very good. But I got the job done. But now this is an essential part of my workflow. So Reminder Serve um, as an automatic mechanism to notify you when you want to view and get notified of a certain note on a certain date. Um, it's very basic, but extremely res resourceful. This is as simple as a click on the top um, here at the right. So um, let's use a good example here. So my old change that I got done in March of 2015. Um, this little clock up here at the top of the note, you simply click on this, and it gives you instructions on how to do this. So I'm going to add a date. Golden rule of oil changes is every three months or every... Um, three to five thousand miles depending on what kind of oil you're using. Um, so if I'm looking at March, April, May, June, um, so I'll probably be looking at sometime in June. Let's go ahead and click a date here. You can click on tomorrow in a week or you can go ahead and go through um, whichever date or you can type it in here. And you can actually select the time as well and when you want to be notified. Okay, so let's say the 26th. I will stop here. And then you see at the top, at the top right hand, you'll see it's going to come back on Friday, June 26. Um, did what to do? Sure. There you go. That's a new feature. And here you'll see that your reminders will show up in order, and you can filter these based on uh, completed, upcoming, or by date. I like to do it by date, and I'll show you here what mine looks like. So. Oil changes are just one example. Um, I do my car registration when that's coming up, tire rotations whenever my tires need to be renewed, my CRM. Um, this is kind of how I keep up with my networking. Uh, this is my customer relations uh, database that I keep up. And whenever I have conversations with important people I want to stay in network with, I kind of write down what those conversations go. Um, if, it's, if I'm meeting somebody new, I write down all the information that I have a conversation with, if they have kids, what their hobbies are, 
That way I always have that in the back of my pocket the next time I talk to them, I have conversation starters. I keep my warranties under my reminders, changing water filters or air, air filters in my house, um, expiration dates for my contracts, or any other expiration dates around your house, phone upgrades. I never remember when my phone's upgrading, so um, I don't know when that usually happens. Let's switch over um, to my main account here, and I'll give you a quick peek on what that looks like. Okay, so the way you view what reminders look like, I'm just going to move this over here. So I click on my notes section, and here you can see that my reminders list has grown quite significantly. So I have my water filter, um, where I ordered it from, how much it cost. Um, that needs to be done on June 1st. Um, as you can see, it's already passed, so that needs to be done. Uh, these are certain peoples that I keep in touch with, registration, oil, oil changes, air filters, medical records, um, when I need to go back to the doctor's appointment. Um, it's many, many things you can use. Um, I also do a weekly reminder um, to review with uh, homework with my daughter when it's during the school year. Um, whenever she gets a little bit older, I'll definitely introduce Evernote to her. And I also keep track of ideas for Christmas time. Um, so I have a Christmas list that I kind of keep running throughout the year when ideas come across my head. It kind of makes Christmas shopping easier when that comes up. So there's a thousand ways to use this. Hopefully you can share with me how you use it once you kind of get used to this. Um, and one of the great third-party applications, and we're going to go over this a lot more in detail, is called Sunrise. And what Sunrise is, it's a third-party application for your calendar. And I've actually moved over to this calendar because it works great. So whenever, this is the only calendar that I know that integrates with Evernote. So not only do I have my work, my personal calendar, but it also integrates with my Evernote reminders. So this, what I see here on my, in my Evernote, will also show up on my calendar, which is kind of, which is great to have. So the last thing I want to talk about is um, note linking, and this is very easy. Um, it took some time to be able to know what this function is, uh, but it's become a super convenience when building projects and having table of contents, which is phenomenal, and that's going to be in the next episode on how I use table of contents, travel arrangements, and more. Um, note linking is another phrase for hyperlinks. You want to jump from note to note, or do you want to go to a website? There are two types of note linkings. There's internal, external, like I just mentioned. External is going from uh, it's mapped to a URL or a website outside of Evernote. You can be, but you need to be connected for the to the internet for this to work. Internal note linking is mapping to another note within Evernote, and you don't have to have internet access for this. So there are a few ways to make this happen. For external, you can highlight words, right mouse click, and then select link. So um, let's just use, here's a quick note that I wanted to remind myself here. So I highlight any sets of words here. I right mouse click. I will go to link and click add. You notice here that there's a shortcut to do this, which is command K on the Mac version. Click on add, and here you add a link. So if I were to pull up a website, let's say, doesn't really matter. I'll put whatever I want here. I'll paste the website into here, and now it's linked. So now I can technically click on this link, and that website will open up. I have a second browser here, but this is what popped up for me. It's not showing up during the screen recording. That's okay. Um, but it's a nice convenience to have. Uh, so the second way to look at this, let me go back to my notes here, is internal note linking. So this is where it kind of get into your table of contents. Let me give you a quick example. So uh, I will for going note to notes, not your external where you're copying a URL in. But let's say I want to view this specific note within another note. 
So I will right mouse click. I'll click on this copy note link. Let's go to any other link here. And then I will just paste. So you see that was the exact title from this note. So if I clicked here, it'll take me right back to the other note, which is great. Nice and convenient. So one more time, we'll go back and do it the other way. Right mouse click, we're gonna copy their note link. We'll go back to this note and we'll paste. So I'm gonna use the shortcut Command V here. This is that untitled note that we just copied. We'll click on there, it'll take us back to this note. And now we can go back and forth between notes very quickly. Um, typically these won't be right next to each other for, for a long period of time. These can obviously go and be categorized into different other notes. So it's just a nice, it's very simple but extremely beneficial when you're using it on a daily basis and I'll show you a little bit more in detail when we review table of contents. So that's it for today. Um, let me know if there's anything I might have missed. Feel free to email me. It's zweyand, that's C-W-E-Y-A-N-D at gmail.com if you have any questions or recommendations. And like I said before, we're going to cover some to-do list and some table of contents and kind of get in some more um, meat of the functions that we just talked about.